Did she take her hairbrush? I don't even know what See, happened. That's probably it. <laughs> I, the, other, the other fact I have to give you with, with the Gary Garver thing is that last guy he was interviewing, hmm. I found out his name, he was uh, the character Jingo Fett. Who's that? I don't know. Richard Christie just said it was hey. Jingo, Jingo hey. Fett. Hey. Jingo, how does Richard know it's Jingo, Jingo. Fett? Richard knows a lot hey. more than you think about this. Well, how show. does he know? Did you see video of it? Well, Richard helped me pull the clip, so maybe he heard it. Jingo Fett? Jingo I know Fett. that name, but I don't I got a feeling I'd like to hear more. Jingo Fett I'd like is. to hear more tape from this yeah. convention. Oh, there's yeah. one guy who was dressed as a as like one of the um, uh, pilots, man. I mean, he was he was you know coming up to other pilots. Hello, fellow pilot. And blah blah blah. <laughs> <laughs> that was you know, funny as shit, man. That one was crazy. Who's Jingo Fett? Jingo Fett is Boba Fett's uh, son, I think. <laughs> Boba Fett. Who's that? Boba Fett's the guy with the real cool green helmet that has the gun. That in Return of the Jedi, yeah. he flies around. He has like a rocket pack. Oh, I know his brother, Eddie Fett. <laughs> yeah, Boba Fett has a Frank real bad Fett. toupee. Hey, Howard, do you That's think... That's great. Go Thank you, Richard. Howard, oh, do you think... Thanks for the explanation. That's as good as the Carlo explanation Another, the another Darth Nihilus fact, too. John yeah. Hine found this out. Uh, in the video game, he doesn't even talk. He makes a series of noises, like sounds. He goes like... Ding, bong, bing, bing. So that guy wasn't being tr even true to character by talking. True to character. He should have just been boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, when Gary asked the question, he should have just made noise. <laughs> Who are you? Beep, boom, beep, boom. <laughs> do, you think, uh, do you think the fans of this show are hardcore enough to have a convention and like dress up as obscure people like... Someone dressed up as Robin goes, who are you? I'm Joe Cancer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That'd be a pretty good idea. Like yeah. a Howard Stern show convention and you dress up in different costumes. Be in the who, drunk. Who are yeah. you? Be in the drunk. I'm, I'm Tom Chiasano. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo. <laughs> I'm Fred. Oh, no. And you go, who are you? And then you get in and answer you. <laughs> he just says boxing gloves on. I'm Mark Turnoff. <laughs> I'm Sam Ben Ruby. <laughs> I'm the Sam more, Ben Ruby. The more obscure, the, that's the, obscure, the better. Yeah, that's I'm a hardcore Bucky. Yeah. Bucky, Bucky, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or maybe at the convention there's like 30,000 Howards and one JD. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The and that person can, oh, oh, can only say that to the answer of uh, a question. The so, JDs, uh, the JDs uh, and the Benjis. The JDs and the Benjis. I'm out Benji. <laughs> Who's going to be Benji? I'm Benji. Take that back. <laughs> Hello, fellow Benji. Hi. Hi, fellow, hi, fellow writers on the show. <laughs> like, I'm, no. I'm Vinny Marcio. <laughs> oh, no. He's got his crotch on fire. I'd shave my head and come as Scott Salem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> Dead Air Dave. Dead Air Dave would be a good one. Who's the most obscure? around with a button, pushing it. Who's the most obscure guy you could be? Wow, that's interesting. How about who? Um, the guy that Dead Air Dave replaced. Who was before him oh. pushing the button? Andre. 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 Yeah. I'm Andre. <laughs> that's a uh, that's that's a hardcore fan right yeah, there. The I'm Beatles Louise. Yeah. Louise. <laughs> Remember oh, Louise? Oh yeah, the, the old board up. The dancer. Yeah. The old board up. Yeah. I'm Louise, the board up. <laughs> I'm Tabby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should. You don't belong to this convention. You're not technically part of the show. Fuck you! <laughs> Did he really write you a letter and all that? I'm Kathy Tobin. I'm Gary Garver. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Artie. Uh, <laughs> I want to know how many people have paid to subscribe to Gary's website. That five dollar yeah, website. How many? How many people? Be real, man. Like five. Wow, you're up to five. <laughs> Someone told me it was two. It was, but I, I got a couple more last week. His brother and one other guy. <laughs> what the, what's it cost? It's five bucks a month. And what do you get for that? I have like 50, 60 clips of videos that I've shot in years past. Uh, I do a new show every week, like an, a new internet TV show every week that, that goes oh. up for free. The first week it goes up for free, and then if you want to see it, it's archived. Uh, um, how, what's the, who's this week's guest? Uh, this week's guest, I had, uh, Blue Iris on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is the convention. Now, Gar I don't mind paying to hear that. How much out of the five does Gary get? Does he get, like, the full five? No, no, because I've got guys, like, I've got guys working for me. <laughs> oh, jeez, and he's at a, he's under the bus. Does anybody, like, complain that, you know, hey, I'm paying five bucks and, you know, we want better guests? No, because I do get good guests. I have a uh, ten house pet Charlie Lane on too. She's uh, she might co-host the show with me starting in a couple weeks. And, do any uh, of your guests come in and go? You know, 
I, I can't believe I'm doing this. There's nobody watching it. <laughs> oh, everybody loves it, Howard. I no, but I'm saying, I'm saying, if there's five subscribers, they got at some point, like, like even Blue Iris wants to reach the masses. Well, that's why I put up the shows for free every week because oh. the, the, the 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 first week, you know, that. The, but is that a good business plan? If I see it for free, why would I pay for it? Because you get video clips of me, like interviewing Jack Nicholson and Joe Pesci and, and things like that that I I shoot, you know. Where you guys don't have uh, Howard TV shooting it, uh, I shoot it. Okay. So I, mean, I have the, like, if you pay, you get to see him in the nude. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's well, right. You, yeah, you get to see my 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 wanker. You, you know, know, Gary should just. Why is he nude on there? I'm just kidding. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Gary should, should just fight people on his website, though. I'd watch that. As angry as fight he, with Star Wars. Man. Yeah, fight Star Wars. Uh, fight his brother. Why do you guys think I'm so angry? That's, that's well, you didn't really, like in that one interview. You were like, like, like you're kind of antagonizing the guy. You don't need to do that. Howard, first of all, you guys send me the questions, okay? Second off, when the guy calls me an asshole, what am I going to sit there and do? Now you were kind of being a dick, so you see, so you let him be. You, you know, the questions are kind of tough on the guy. Yeah, I know. Well, that's why I ask him. That's why you guys like my interviews because I'm I'm willing to you know fucking bust their balls, but no. I'm not angry about it. I don't I don't care one way or the other. But when well, don't guys, start any fight. In Gary's defense, he was nice to all the other Star Wars he people. Was? Yeah. All right. Princess Leia everybody. and all them. Oh, Princess Leia, he liked. <laughs> yeah, he was nice to her. All Come right, on. Gary, thank you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate everything you do for me. Right. I love you. Love you too, man. He's a good Take guy. Care. Love Gary Garver. Uh, good luck with the website. Quite a little community he's got going. I figured out who I'm going at to the Howard Stern convention as. Yeah? The most obscure reference. All right, go ahead. All right, here's who I'm going to be. I'm going to be Anthony Zipper and his dead stuff daughter, Calistra. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Uh, but I've, I'm going to be Bo, the stripper. Bo, the lesbian. Or the lesbian. Did you hated her. Oh. I did not hate did her. Did you have a blow up because she did the news when you weren't there one time? No. You, you, you came down on me pretty hard. Like, I can't believe Bo, the lesbian, did the, I, th I thought you were getting, like, upset. Are you serious? No. I don't even, I have no recollection of that. That's why you want to be Bo, the lesbian. No, I figured nobody would remember her. Maybe you want to be both a lesbian so that you could have some lesbian sex. I don't even know that she had lesbian sex. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, remember that dead stuff daughter thing? Ooh, yeah. yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, weird. Anthony Zipper. I remember that. Oh, yeah. God. Calistra. Freak. I love Calistra. <laughs> Calistra's close to me. You know who I'm going to be at the Howard Stern Convention? I got a better one than that. Oh. Shirley from God Hates Fag's eight-year-old son. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'll just walk around in a One little... One of the members of the family, not even no, Shirley. No, because that's not that obscure. <laughs> just quoting, like, Bible passages that yeah. say the gays are evil? Yeah. I hate fags. Who are you? I'm the son of Shirley. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to go... I'm the son of Shirley. <laughs> you have a mask on. I have a mask on. I'm the son of Shirley. Yeah, I'd wear a mask. I'd wear a full outfit. I, don't oh, wanna... I got a good one. You know who I'll go as? <laughs> Robin's ex assistant Carrie. Oh. <laughs> Carrie? Carrie. It yeah. was Sherry. See, you don't even remember who was Carrie. No, it was Carrie. Carrie. Who was Carrie? The blonde hair girl. was the last one who was in here with you. Oh, oh, oh. You don't remember <laughs> Carrie? You don't no. remember <laughs> Wow. That's cold. <laughs> Sorry about that. Hi, I'm Carrie. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie. Who it's, are you? I'm Robin's ex assistant. <laughs> I used to bring her. I didn't even know my name. <laughs> Can you stay with you? What's she doing now? So I could get into character. <laughs> I don't know. Hi, I'm Carrie. If I don't remember, I definitely don't know what she's doing now. Hi, I'm Dr. Ronnie. I'm here with Robin Strang. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dr. Now Ronnie you're... would be a now great... Now you're talking. I'm do... No, I, I'm going to be the woman who gave the colonic while Dr. Ronnie was in the room. Mm. Oh, That's then you're obscure. Philomena. You're in... I'd be James Hester. <laughs> I'm Philomena. <laughs> I'm putting the tube in Robin's ass while Dr. Ronnie oh. examines the shit. What about the... I'd be Vinny Penn, the guy sitting in the jacket chair on 9-11. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Hi, I'm Vinny Penn. That's a good one. <laughs> I, I, you know what? I'd, I'd be Lonnie from Score. <laughs> now, here's a good one. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Jonathan Mendelson, the Jesus Twins manager. Yeah, uh, that guy was great. I managed the Jesus Twins. They're the greatest thing ever. They're going to be huge stars. That guy was hilarious. Well, we're really huge stars. That's what I meant. How about the... How many people do you think will be Ralph Sorella? <laughs> no one. 
Not even Ralph. Uh, I'm gonna, Ralph Farrell. I'm going to dress up in blonde wig and be Cindy Margolis' hot friend. <laughs> oh. Uh, I mean, hi, I'm Cindy's friend. Whatever my name is, I forget. <laughs> so you don't remember your name. I don't remember my name, but most people know me as Cindy's friend. <laughs> no, I know my name. I just don't want to say it. I want to be Miss Howard TV so I can go home and fuck myself. I'm going to be Tempest. <laughs> That's a good one. Jesus Christ. I'm Johnny Mud Mudman. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Mud Mud. Remember him? What's yeah. the finger clicking guy? Oh, Bobby I'm, Badfinger. I'm Bobby Badfinger. I'm Bobby Badfinger. Yeah, I'm Bobby Badfinger. <laughs> can't, you, can't you tell? Look. <laughs> How about, uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna fool people. I'm gonna, they're gonna say we gotta have a convention. Are you yeah. are you Beetlejuice? No, I'm Beetlejuice's sister. <laughs> yeah. oh. How about mommy Beetlejuice? <laughs> what is it, Doug? If you're serious about doing this, I mean, we could easily put this together with Howard TV. Yeah. It would be great. Big I think convention. you guys would have to go, though. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah of course we're, we're going. the stars of the convention. I mean, there would be lots and lots of crazy fans there. <laughs> I want to get paid like Shatner and, uh, and uh, Leonard Nimoy. That's exactly. right. Yeah, yeah. If we're lecturing, we're answering yeah. questions. And you know what you do? We come on, you know, for an hour the very last day. <laughs> and you have Beetlejuice and all the other people show up on the other days. They give the whole panel discussion and all that. You know who you should dress up as, Artie? Because we should dress up, too. You should be Ed Torian because you do so <laughs> Oh, you do a great Ed Torian. <laughs> I am Ed Torian. Yeah, you're so good. <laughs> Just walk around asking people, have you ever called someone a nigger? <laughs> <laughs> And they go, hey, you step outside, I'm going to kick your ass. And you just go, no, 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 I'm being a character. I'm being a Torian. Right. Uh, you know what? You're not being truthful. Eh? You're being deceitful. And I could be that guy, um, Negro woman from the South. <laughs> Raymond Norman. Raymond Norman. I'll be Raymond, Raymond Norman. Norman. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey, Negro woman of the South. Yeah, a lot of Raymond Norman. Oprah here. Winfrey, Negro woman from the South. And I could be, somebody please. <laughs> that's a good one. See, Fine that's girl. a very only one. <laughs> Oh, one appearance oh, by her. Right. I'm you thinking know, to stay home in April, Massachusetts, and hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real, okay? I'm real. I'm oh, real. Yeah. Somebody in America, give me a chance. Can please. we find her? We have to find yeah, her. What happened to her? I got to get an update on that broad. I called her a bunch of times, and she never returned my call. Then I waited like four months and called her again, and then I waited two months, and her number was disconnected. You know wow. what? So, have, someone go to April, have someone go to April, Massachusetts and like go to gas station yeah she's worth finding <laughs> she could be at the convention uh, what if i went as yaki the tickler then, oh. I could tickle, then i could touch chicks and i have a license yeah hi um who hasn't en who hasn't <laughs> enjoyed the sounds of a young boy who being... hasn't uh, who hasn't held a child in their hands and wanted to elicit laughter <laughs> now nobody so better is jumping am. up what? to do jeff the vomit guy well there's jeff the drunk jeff does the him. vomit guy there's uh I'm trying to think of, like, uh, what would be a shitty costume to put on? <laughs> I could dress up as my cousin who was an intern, Isaac. Hi, bitch, Eric. Oh. Hi, I'm Isaac. I'm Howard's cousin, and I used to intern on the show. <laughs> wow, you're really obscure. I could dress up as every shitty intern I've gotten a job here. What about a long ponytail? I'll be Dan the Song Parody Man. Oh, <laughs> you'd be a real poon, huh? Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I can get girls. <laughs> I can get girls. You guys don't realize it, but I'm something of a poon hound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, well, no, actually, it was even worse than that. He goes, everyone knows I'm a poon hound. <laughs> well, i got to think about this. We might have to have a Howard Stern convention. Ban Mr. Bloodclot. Well, no, you can't ban him. I'm just not going to read it. Oh... Now you can ban Mr. Blood Clock. If I see more trolling, it's going to go up to five years.